Welcome back to another video. We're out here at Staten Island Airfield and today we're gonna do some myth busting. Not really myth busting, but just doing something that a lot of people have asked questions about, both of me and I've seen other people. And I just wanted to go through and actually show you that you can run mismatched motors on your quad and it is completely fine. So this is my practice drone. This drone has basically taken all the beatings as you can see from the split bottom plate right here. Uh, one of these arms is starting to loosen up too so it's about time we replace some parts on this frame. But what I wanna talk about is you can run mismatched motors on your quad and it's no big deal. I know before I talked about a mistake I made which was I ran basically a 4S motor and a 6S motor together on my little oh my God 250 right here and that one did cause an issue. But that build is really weird super sensitive the motors were wildly mismatched uh by nearly like 2000 kv which is pretty big for those who aren't into fpv uh, and i was running a motor limit so all of those little issues together made it do something that was a little odd and a little weird that has since been corrected but today i want to show you that you can run mismatched motors and this is important because when we break motors you may not be able to get the same motors that are on your quad and so i want you to be confident that you can go out buy a different motor put it on the same quad still get up in the air and fly just as you did before so on here up front i have blaster motors they're 1800 kv uh, from uh, Rotor Riot, uh, they are 2207. Here on the back, I have Eco 2s from Emacs. They are 1700 kV, so 1000 kV less, and they are 2306. Uh, if you are not familiar with FPV, uh, basically it's the diameter, 23 in this case, uh, and then the stator height, 06, is how they come up with that number. So in the front, it's 22 uh, millimeters in diameter, six millimeters tall stator. That's basically what that number means. And the KV, think of it kind of like RPM, but it's not. Uh, it basically, if you add a certain voltage to the motor, that's how fast it spins, uh, is a really like surface level explanation of it. This motor, this quad has had at least three mismatched motors. Currently it has two. Two in the back are Eco, uh, the two in the back are the Emacs Eco 2s, the two in the front are the Blasters. So let me get this guy up in the air. I'm just gonna use goggle DVR for this because I don't feel like throwing a GoPro on it. But I wanna show you that you can fly and rip a quad with different mismatch motors. So that way if you break a motor and all you can get is a different motor than you're used to having, it's completely fine. This is running completely stock beta flights, stock PIDs, and actually stock rates because I've started using stock beta flight rates because they kind of work, they're actually pretty good. Try them if you haven't already. But let me get this up in the air and then we'll talk more. Drop in the goggles and let's get up in the air and go for a little flight. And actually before we do that, this time I'm gonna remember, we have to press the record button because we're on a regular air unit. There we go. And we are off to the races. And as you can see, even though it is a little dark and a little fuzzy and not the normal high definition footage, this quad is still ripping. Flies perfectly fine, despite having motors that are uh, mismatched. And I think this is really important as FPV pilots to know that this is okay. Because again, we break a lot of stuff and you may not be able to get the same motor when you've broken a motor. And you don't wanna just throw away three motors because one of them's dead. Now, if you break a motor, I would obviously get something close, because to my knowledge, again, I'm not an electrical engineer, it's not my area of expertise really, but I've been told that basically the electrical system will figure out which one is the weakest of the group, and then will match the performance of the other motors to that lowest common denominator. So obviously you would ideally not mismatch a high performance motor with a bunch of lower performance motors, but it's not a problem if you do. 
So again, this is flying two mismatched motors and there is nothing. I mean, there was a little, uh, what's it called, prop wash, but honestly, most of that can be attributed to the fact that I'm running props that have been mangled and it's super, super windy out. So, don't worry. Let her fly, let her rip. And if you break a motor, nothing to worry about. Just get what you can find and fly. <laughs> I really wanted to make this video uh, mostly because I just wanted to get out and fly today and I didn't really have another topic that uh, I wanted to get into. But I have had a bunch of people ask me, hey, I broke a motor and I can't find an identical replacement. What do I do? And the simple answer is you're good. All right, so we may have to walk across the field with this one, but I just want to give, yeah. I want to give this one trick a whirl. I've been working on my Maddie flips, and this has been a spot where I've been working on it, but the wind is kind of aggressive. I'm kind of feeling it though, so. Here we go. Oh no, wind got me a little there. Not quite. Pop up. Boop, boop, boop. There's a lot of good little tree gaps around our flying field that I've been working on and playing with. out of battery so I'm gonna give this one last whirl before coming home or going to walk and get my claw. Either way. <laughs> That's one of the cleanest Matty flips I've done. Heck yeah and there's the sunset. Woo! And yes one of the motors does sound or one of the uh, props does sound a little rough right now. They have taken a beating. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> and there we go. If you've got mismatched motors, it's no big deal, especially if they're relatively similar. Uh, obviously, it's ideal not to pair a really high performance, nice motor with some lesser performance motors because it will again match that performance. You're not going to get a boost in performance in one corner. It's completely okay. So, if you're ripping, if you break something, just swap what you got in there and you're good to go. Don't worry too much about it. Uh, just get as close as you can if you need to find a replacement and you're fine. And this can actually be really useful if you're out in the field and say you don't have a spare motor with you and you crash your quad, break a motor first thing and your friend say has a motor that doesn't quite match, you're good to go. Let me know down there in the comments if you've ever run different motors on your quad, how did it go? Did you have any other problems with it? If you are currently running different motors on your quad, let me know how it's going. I'm just curious to see some different opinions, different experiences. As always, if you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you've ever been saved by this in a situation where you weren't gonna get to fly that day, but you decided to run mismatched motors and everything was all good, give it a huge thumbs up. <laughs> Can't really give a different thumbs up, but whatever. If you like this video, please subscribe as every other YouTuber asks. It really helps in the algorithm, helps grow the channel, all that fun stuff. As always, links down below are affiliate links to Amazon. Uh, they don't cost you anything, don't change how your experience on Amazon goes, but it gives a little kickback to me, which then I put into this channel to buy more stuff, review more stuff, and travel depending on what I need to do to make another video. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Catch you in the next one. Bye.